Good morning and welcome to the Renatus Elevate team call. This is your host, Keely Austin. As of right now, we have 38 participants on the line. Make sure you do reach out to your team. We don't want any ICMs left behind missing out on these awesome trainings. Wanda is an amazing individual. I'm really excited to see her again at nationals. I have not really gotten to know her too well. And so, but I have seen her success and, and I know that she's absolutely killing it. A couple or a little bit of Wanda's background. She was born in Puerto Rico and she earned herself two master's degrees in education, despite many life challenges. And in her career, she succeeded in many ways, only to an extent where she would hit a ceiling every time she attempted to reach higher. She spent most of her time trading hours for dollars. And on the side, Wanda was always looking for business opportunities but none of those ever really worked out. Three years ago is when she found Renatus and her entrepreneurial spirit absolutely shows now that she's been able to put to work what she's learned from Renatus. In her first eight months alone, she earned six figures and has continued to do so each year after. And she's completed now around 20 real estate transactions. She is on the PIT team, um, which is the President's Advisory Council in training. She's built a large team of entrepreneurs, which allows them to succeed as she has. And because of her choice to become a real estate investor, her future is now brighter and great things are to come in the years ahead. I'm excited what Wanda, Wanda's got to share with us today. Good morning, Wanda. Oh, good morning. Good morning, Kelly. How are you? I'm Doing so great. excited to be here, like always. Good. And, are you going to be sharing uh, your screen today? No. I'm, go okay. I'm actually today I am in Chicago. I came over to train. I did the presentation on, on Tuesday and the north side of town. And Super Saturday is this coming Saturday and I'm the guest speaker for Super Saturday. So I'm very excited to be here in the Chi town and see this part of the family. And um, I just honestly enjoy you know interacting with other people and showing my success and telling you that inspire you to do better because i know that everybody can reach because there's no limits and uh, that's kind of my my thing that there's no limits and it's not even a sky is the limit i don't even say that because really um there's no limit so I uh, honestly want to talk about how we can improve and embrace changes. Um, right now, and I'm going to go in a personal situations right now, so I'm going to be very vulnerable and what I want to share with you this morning. And so we don't need the screen happily. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so basically, I've been contemplating the fact that I had had to take, make a decision and go to stay and spend more time in Puerto Rico with my 104 years old grandma and my 80 years old father. And uh, it's been a quite of a challenge. So obviously when you have a challenge, you need to start embracing changes. So one of the things I was kind of excited because I'm like, okay, I'm going to Puerto Rico, I'm starting the market there, but um, I can't start the market there because there are some rules, regulation, laws, and I need to abide by that. So I wanna stay in compliance. So I'm like, okay, I cannot do this. So that door is not open. So what other door can I open? And I am so excited because we have a family in here and people who are succeeding they share what they are doing and you can copycat what they're doing so i'm sharing with you what i do so you can copycat and basically i i talk to Zach Olman, i talk to sandy girl who are having a lot of success with things online and i said you know what I'm going to reinvent myself. So I have taken strategies that both of them are using and I'm kind of developing my own. I'm going to talk about that in the Super Saturday in Chicago here and 
will be my theme for this year as I go across the nation. I mostly get invited to other markets and to speak about my, my successes. So one of the things that is important here is that in life, you're going to expect changes and you're going to need to embrace it or you're going to be frustrated, one of the two. Because if you stayed on that um, my mentality of being rigid with your routines and being rigid with, your, with what you're just doing every single day, and I'm not talking about the routines that give, put you into the good standing for the day. Those are different. We talk about those routines at the beginning of the year because those are for you to, to be aligned with the universe and to be in a good vibe to receive, right? Those are different. But when you say, oh, no, I'm always doing my business this way and you don't embrace changes, then you're setting yourself for failure because changes are something that you need to expect in everything. Things change all the time. That's the only thing that is continue to evolve through your life. You go to midlife changes, right? <laughs> you go through different changes throughout your stages of adulthood from childhood to teenagers to adulthood and to um, be a little older like my grandma right now 104 imagine I have probably 50 more years to go around so it is important then to embrace those changes and I love always I don't know what it is but Kili and I are always like in this um, alignment and she put the code today like the past um, let me see, I wrote it and now I cannot see it. The past um, has no power over the present moment. What a beautiful quote, Tilly. And it's like, yeah, what happened in the past for me is not going to affect my present today. It, and it's, it's something that we have to kind of take with a grain of salt right because yes it will become part of me because I'm pretty much the person who am I because of the experiences that I have in the past but the past is not affecting my present because I am changing and I'm evolving through the years correct so now in this part of my life and my business I have somebody off mute Jesse please Put this off mute. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry about that. Um, so basically, because I, I have to evolve my business and reinvent myself, then I need to embrace that. And I cannot say, okay, the experiences of the past will affect my business now. I have grown through the years, these first three years of my business in marketing with Renato. But well, now is the moment to take me to the next level. And perhaps what is happening in my life is the key point that allows me for me to say, huh, I need to evolve. If I continue to do the things the same way I'm been doing it, I'm going to be kind of stuck. And remember, I kind of set up this thermostat for the six-figure income, but um, it's comfortable. But really, why not seven? Why not eight? Why not nine? right because there's no limit so it is time to evolve and to embrace that change and create something new in my business to move ahead and that's my invitation today for you especially because we are going through a lot of things right now in Renatus and those things I cannot even say because I sign a document that I will not be disclosing any of the surprises that we have in national. But I want to take the moment to invite you, if you have not yet purchased your ticket, don't wait until tomorrow, do it today. Remember that that's the theme of the conference. Today, not tomorrow, TNT. So go and find a way to purchase your tickets today 
because the things that are coming is not only going to change your business, but it's changing the company, it's changing the world, it's changing everything that the way we are doing it. So I'm glad, and we have, okay, I'm glad that I am able to start embracing my changes in my own business right now because then we have all of these changes coming up for the whole entire company and you that's why i i encourage you to be at the conference and don't miss the opportunity to get all of the benefits that you will get for being there and basically embracing changes is going to allow you to really expand your comfort zone if you if you like for me, I was so comfortable and yeah, I live a pretty good life, a better life than before a six figure income. But it's time to move ahead. It's time to raise the thermostat. Remember that you begin with a relationship with money and that relationship with money is the one that is gonna keep you where you at or is the one that is gonna help you to move ahead. If you begin to embrace money differently and start thinking of the things that you could possibly do and find your why that's what is going to help you to move ahead like today i was looking at some pictures i have some friends who are going through different um, transformational retreats and i went to indonesia last uh, last year in summer to have these transformational retreats and it's really really good and right now that group is in Nepal. And I am looking at what they're doing in an orphanage and stuff. And my heart is like coming out of my chest because I'm like, wow, that is my passion. Is and I'm like, okay, I I'm not able to be there right now, but that's what I love to do. But for me, in able to do that. I really need to raise my thermostat because I love to go help. And if I like to help, I need more of the tools, like if you see money as a tool, to be able to help. So basically, I'm going to create more tools to be able to help. And that tools is money. The tool is money, right? Um, and you see money as a tool, not as a thing that you need. Yes, you, and it's quote unquote, right? Not like it's a tool that I need, yes, to accomplish my goals and to accomplish my targets, accomplish the things that I am passionate about it. So when you find your why, then you align yourself with the things that you need, with the tools that you are going to be using, like money raise the thermostat to be able to embrace the change and move ahead in your business if that makes sense it's, it's really 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 powerful when you said okay it's time for me to raise that thermostat embrace changes to be able to move ahead and move into the things that i need to complete I like to uh, open up, we have about five more minutes, but I like to open up to any questions. Where are you at in your business? Do you think this is important for you to really find a way to, to, to evolve, to make this change, to make the shift and find a way to redirect your business in a different direction and move ahead? Let's open up um, the microphone, go on mute if you have a comment to talk about um, changes. Like I just expressed the changes that I need to do, but you probably are in the same position. Any comments? Wanda, good morning. This is Sandra in South Florida. Hey, Wanda, Sandra. Hola, hola. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for answering my text last night. It was, a, everybody was saying, yes. you know, Everybody was saying, oh, she's going to do it in Spanish on Saturday. I said, I don't think so. Oh, no. So, no, so thank, you. thank you so much for being so responsive. Yeah. Um, I have not done a good job about my warm market. And when I say warm market, I have so many names in my phone from 
so many years when I've reached out to them for my promotional products business. And I mm -hmm. honestly don't know, because I really wanted to be a five star before national and that's not happening. Um, mm -hmm. I, I have not, I have no one on my team as a matter of fact, and I've been at this over a year. So I've been, I'm, I'm, a, I'm like a crock pot, not a microwave. So okay. I don't know the best way to just reach out to people that I haven't talked to in years and engage in a conversation where I can bring up what I'm doing now. I, I, I don't know how to make that transition because I've been a secret agent. I have not told enough people about this. Oh, wow. Sandra, I'm so happy that you're bringing this up. And the first thing, if you, if you allow me to coach you on this. That's why I call. You, okay. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to coach you on this. And the first thing that I want you to do is to change the way that you say things. Because Great. when, and you just said that um, something about not being five-star. So I don't know if I'm going to be five-star by national. So if you mm. tell your brain that, your brain is going to stay there. I don't know if we're going to be five-star by national. But if you say differently, oh. I'm going to be five-star by national, and mm -hmm. I'm going to do everything in my power to do it, then it will happen. And you go to bed every single night thinking, I am a five-star. I am a five-star. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing my five-star. And if you go to meetings tonight, go and grab a five-star and take a picture with your five-star <laughs> hanging in your set. Yeah, and put it in your mirror and watch it all the time and look at it all the time. And you'll be five-star before nationals. You have 30 days. You have 30 days before nationals. And you can do this. Um, Michael Hoggins, just, if you were at the... Um, founders webinar on Monday or oh no, mm -hmm. the Monday before last, Monday mm -hmm. before he mm -hmm. um, talked about the 30 day challenge so he mm -hmm. put everybody under him so I'm part of his group so I'm, I'm in this challenge and is recruiting 20 people in 30 days and this is awesome, thank you Sandra for bringing this up because uh, I was kind of a little bit forgetting about this point I have began my business again in the last three days with this challenge. And the first thing that I did, I went through my Facebook, I went through my phone, and I created a 200 names list on a notebook. And this is something I'm doing, like currently I'm doing it. Before this, start, this call started, I was sending texts to people inviting them to Mark Collar's event, the corporate intensive on Saturday. And I have one response say, yes, confirm. So I registered him. Last night I made, uh, yesterday I made, let me go to my notes here. I called 19 people. I have 12 conversations. I ended up with three people committed to go to Mark Collar's class um, today, one guy is going to go, and tomorrow there's a girl coming in the morning and another guy coming in the afternoon because the class recordings are a little different. In the class recordings, you need permission from your pack member to invite somebody. So I send the invitations to Michael. Michael approved them, so they, they are confirmed to go. And I'm sure we're going to have the conversation on closing those combos or closing those sales because they are going to go to the event. Then I also committed three people for Saturday, um, the Saturday um, corporate intensive with my caller. And today I confirmed another one, so that's num my number four one. And today I'm sending, before, before I enter this call, I probably sent over 30 texts inviting people because Mark Kohler put a video, which is awesome video, and with that video, then we can, we can promote the event on Saturday. And because you guys are outside Salt Lake, or some of you are outside Salt Lake, you're like, how can I leverage this opportunity? Invite them to your home. 
invite them to your home you, because it's going to be live stream. And you can have a party on Saturday and invite all of these people. So Sandra, I'm going to, um, let me see if I could put on the, I'm going to put on the message, the message that I'm sending. And you can send this text to everybody in your network by text. I don't, and you know, sometimes I don't even do like too many phone calls, although I'm stretching myself a little bit on these days because of the challenge. So I'm like, I need to talk to people because normally uh, I'm not good with the phone, but I am getting much better because of the challenge. So I'm going to put here in the chat the text I'm sending to people right now to invite them to the, let me see, right there. Hello, you are invited to this event, to this event this Saturday. You can, uh, you know my English, so you can rearrange that. Event this Saturday, March 7th, 9 to 5, where you can learn to save in taxes and create wealth. Please confirm me, confirm with me to reserve your seat. And here is a video that my caller created for inviting people for the event. Because you're not in Salt Lake, Sandra or whomever is reaching out to this call that is not in Salt Lake, then said, I'm going to invite you to my home to watch this conference video um, via streaming, live streaming. And bring pizza and so on. And you never know. You become five star in one day, Sandra. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so proclaim Thank that. You. You say, I'm going to be five star on Saturday. I'm inviting all my friends to see my caller at my house. Awesome. You see, awesome. You see the difference? So it's just I, embracing this change and forget about the past because the past is not going to impact your present. You've been in Renatus for one year. You haven't done anything, but today is the first day again. I marked um, three days ago when we started the challenge with Michael. I mark that as my, fir uh, my first day again. And I'm doing like I just started 100 names. I'm starting to contact people. I'm starting to invite them for the event. Remember that this is so simple. But it's, everything is in your mind. Whatever you put between the two ears, right there in your brain, that's what it's going to happen. If you say, I, it's, I'm not going to be able to be five star by, by nationals, you will not. But if you say, I'm going to be five star on Saturday, you will awesome. be five star on Saturday. So um, let's put that challenge that we talk next week, right? To see if we can be matching that. And if you don't on Saturday, okay, next Saturday, next Saturday. But before nationals, I will. And then awesome. you put your five star, take a picture and look at it all the time. Because your brain, what you send to your brain, it is so powerful. The, whatever your brain takes, it's going to take it as a truth. And that's what is going to be coming to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are You're awesome. welcome. Guys, I love you so much. The time is over for today's call. But thank you, Sandra, for sharing that because that blends very well with what we, we were talking. And I'd like to help you. I'd like to give myself to you because I have, last year I spent so much money on personal development. I don't want to keep this to myself. I want to share with everybody because I know that Renatus gives us the knowledge and the tools. But not until our mindset is where we need to be, things are not going to start rolling. So that's why we have um, put this focus on personal development in this call. I want to inspire you to do better because I know there's no limits. Don't put limitations. Watch what you say because what you say is what is coming. Your brain is going to believe it the way you say it. Guys, have a wonderful weekend and make things happen. Things, there's no limit. Thank you, Kili. Back to you. Dios te bendiga. Gracias. Gracias, Sandra.
awesome training, Wanda. Thank you so much for your time. That was very powerful. I really hope you guys took notes. I'm definitely going to be re-listening to this recording just because I thought that was really, really powerful. So thank you, Wanda. Yeah. Everyone have a great weekend and we'll see you next week. I just want to read some of the comments here, but let me take, yeah, I'm going please. to take, I'm going to take, um, no, I'm going to take some screenshots so I can read them because once the call is over, I won't be able to see it. <clears throat> Go but, for uh, it. Thank you guys so much for being here, for participating. It's really a pleasure for me to, to really be with you guys. So let me, I'm finishing this, this screenshot so I can, I can probably answer it individually in a comment or something. Oh my goodness, so many comments and I didn't go through it. Thank you guys. I talk to you later guys. Thank you. Did you get all the comments, Wanda? Yes, I did. Thank you. All right, perfect. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.